today on the Terrible Warriors. Return to the Parliamentary Republic of Veilmount. To the humble town of Lillenburg, where Beaumont and Jacoby, freelance monster hunters, down to a river they will go. There are murders in town that need solving, and there's evil growing, and it's hungry. A whole new setting created on the spot by our players, and our creators of Veilmount, our freelance monster hunters, they are your terrible warriors. Welcome back, terrible listeners. I'm Derek the Bard with the Edmonton crew. <laughs> and we are returning to our Named in the Future Fate Game, a sword and sorcery game set in the Parliamentary Republic of Veilmount, which my players, uh, Will Mitchell and Wes Gunn, are essentially creating on the spot as we go along. Now, in our previous episodes, we have established that this mountain dwelling, this mountaintop community of relative high technology for their very, very, very early industrial uh, revolution civilization, with its airships and its big guns and its con- state control of magic, um, has seen these two monster hunters come to the town of Lillenburg, where at the behest of Heinrich von uh, von der Onke, of the local uh, quarrymen's union, they are looking into some disappearances. <laughs> Disappear. Of Dieter, Peter, and Hans. I knew it was old man Peterson all along. <laughs> <laughs> I would have gotten away with it if it weren't for you meddling adventurers. <laughs> oh yeah, it's the uh, start of a new uh, session, so you get all your freight points back. Hey. Man, nice. I eat garbage for nothing. <laughs> no, man, we got all that cool uh, information. Yeah, that's also a cool scene. It is a fucking cool scene. I love that. <laughs> so you gear up, and you go out to meet uh, old man Von der Anka. Yep. <clears throat> and you meet him near the entry into the quarry. And the quarry isn't just, like, the quarry. It's the gates around the quarry. Yeah, they've got it all sealed up. Where they're bringing in... Uh, you can actually see one of the airship barges take off. Yeah, there's an take air off. Dock. Yeah, there's well, there's an air dock, but it essentially is at the top of a giant uh, conveyor belt nice. that just brings all the materials in huge mine carts to the top of the uh, quarry, then over to the air dock where they're taken by the belts, put onto the barges, and then once the barges are fully loaded, the belts are shut off. And the barge takes off and floats majestically off into the sky. Obviously, it's not very fast because it's loaded down. It's a barge, but it's going. Yeah. These are big honking airships. We're talking like quad engine, yeah. um, huge propellers and the sails and everything. They have to use propellers essentially because they're just too heavy for the winds to move them much. Yeah. And I'm thinking like we're kind of out in the sticks, so like. I kind of think that this is a really old barge, too, where it still has... Oh, no. The... Th- this is a modern barge, though, because it ha- it's an important industry because it's bringing stuff. I guess that's true. All the airships around, though, uh, like the the non-commercial airships are going to yeah. be the, your older model. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I was just thinking that it might have had um, slots for big fan oars for Antikytherians to... Oh, no, I like that. It, it, it had been a slave galley. They don't have slaves anymore, so now engines. They've retrofitted the engines onto it, but they're very nice modern engines. Yeah, for sure. Oh, I like that. Yeah, because they're tireless. So just yep. fan, you bastards. <laughs> <laughs> fan, you bastards, fan! <laughs> so across her nose, not up it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he meets you up. You're both geared up. Um, yeah. The whistle has just gone off, and it's li- it's like a steam whistle going. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yabba dabba I was just going to say that. <laughs> Whatever the uh, fantasy German version of that is. <laughs> now I can get back to what I could produce for the Fatherland. <laughs> first stones. Also, yabba dabba doo. They're first stones. <laughs> <laughs> where st- where there's no E on the stone, it's just stone with, uh, with like an umlaut over top of it. Nice. <laughs> now you're just imagining medieval fan, like uh, a pre-industrial fantasy German Flintstones. I opening. definitely am. <laughs> and he uh, takes you through the gates. There are offices. There are processing facilities. Because keep in mind that it is a quarry. They do actually dig up. They, they're getting into some metal veins around here. Yeah, they're not miners, except in that they're essentially strip mining. Yeah, but they're taking out, let's say, marble. Mm, nice. 
Well, as long as they don't come across Ghost Rock, it will be okay. Yeah, we're, <laughs> we're good. We're good. <laughs> and that's when their characters reveal they were, in fact, Change and Stone, who have been recursors this whole time. <laughs> ah. Don't cross the streams, Derek. Don't cross the streams. You all exist in the strange. <laughs> yeah. We just use different systems. It's part of the <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I got into some Joker laughter there. Yeah, it was beautiful. Uh, so where does uh, Von Deronka take us? Yeah, he... Uh, well, he starts walking you through the facilities. So yeah, give us and kind just, of a like, tour. Point, yeah, it's a basic, um, you know, one uh, one ducat tour. Nice. Of the uh, of the facilities. You know, this is... Uh, these are our on-site offices over here. That's... Uh, we keep our all of our records in there. Um... That's our ore processing center. We've hit some good veins of iron here. Mm. And then, and he takes you out, and there are guardrails set up around it. The quarry, which is just this open pit with, that's got, essentially it's a tiered pit so they can, nice. uh, the people can just walk uh, walk around to get in, and they've got switchbacks cut into it. But it's also just how they're digging into the ground with yeah. it. And they're cutting out blocks of marble. Hmm. <clears throat> and the, the Lillenberg Quarry Company produces about 15% of the marble used uh, by the artisans of Veilmount. We produce a very high quality marble here, but we have started getting into some veins of iron, uh, which is very strange for marble. Mm -hmm. This is very, Geologically, this is a very strange area. But... It has increased our production. It's required uh, additional equipment, but we are making a, uh, additional proceeds off of it, and it has required us to bring in additional staff, uh, mining engineers, who are able to work without uh, the use of dynamite, or uh, well, not dynamite, but yeah, I I explosives without blasting gel. Yeah, without blasting, and without. Uh, Opening up to work carefully around the marble, mm. and there, there's a line of uh, workers just filing Making past you guys. Out. Yep, they've all got their you know their pickaxes over one shoulder, their hard hats, and their uh, whatever they're keeping their lunches in, kind of thing. Nice. Um, Dietrich's just gonna kind of like look at where they're walking. Um, these guys are coming out of a marble quarry. They're gonna be covered in white dust. Oh, absolutely. Uh, so there's probably white like a dust nice like thick trail like of it. Permeates this place. Is everything here is covered in white dust? Well, at least it'll be easy to follow where they may have gone mm -hmm. if they left the site, mm. which Peter did. Indeed. Um, let me show you uh, the machine that Peter was working on, and he takes you over to a cage. That's an elevator that goes down um, into the quarry. It's obvious this is not used for industrial stuff. Yeah. But this could take in, you know, 10 or 20 men at a time. Yeah. And there are several of them set up around. So some stuff is brought up by the, by the switchback tracks. Um, anything especially large... And then these are just mo used to move people up and down. Yeah, I, I imagine it, and since it's like a pyramid stock, where it's, it's more of a funicular going, like sort of like yeah, down yeah, they're a um, inclinators. Yeah, yeah, just uh, on essentially giant mechanical gears going down, and belts and stuff. Yeah, yeah, and you get to one of the tiers, and there's this huge machine that's being used to process. Um, the marble, you know, just it's um, it's got all sorts of hydraulics with it. It's uh, blasting it off, it's, gotcha. et cetera. Yeah, just kind of doing like some like rough on-site finishing. Exactly. Yeah, cheaper than having a bunch of guys polish it a little. Yeah, yeah, and then obviously it's going to be taken somewhere and get cut. And, exactly, uh, but this is just to make it presentable when you take it to market. Right. Yeah this this is one hundred percent just like raw market material here. Yeah. And this is the machine that uh, that Peter was working on. Hmm. What was the problem with it? Oh, the the hydraulics in here are very uh, they're very finickety. I am going to make an investigation roll. Yeah. Give me a roll. Okay, so you essentially just got a plus on there. Yep. So that's three. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, this machine has definitely been worked on um, within the last few days. <laughs> Uh, the dust on it, the dust that cakes everything around here isn't as noticeable around okay. um, the hinge areas of... The, there's just this big metal door in the side of it. Yeah. And uh, Heinrich opens up the door for you. Yeah. And you can see inside this very narrow workspace inside that's purely for repair purposes. <laughs> yeah. Um, Beaumont... I would like to use some of his uh, sort of self-taught clock magic... To see if he can talk to the machine. Okay, so what form does the clock does your clock magic? Is it is it just like this empathic shit, or do you actually? I, I imagine you have to physically oh, he, talk to he it. He physically has to talk to it, a hundred percent. So I think like a, I think he's gonna sort of ask if uh, Von Dronka well, can let him turn it on. How? Do, okay. Um, there. Well, it's um, it's actually it's sort of on right now, but it's just is it idling. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they're they have, they're cooling down the boiler in it right now. Gotcha. Um, hmm. Which is sl- it's a slow process. Well, yeah, because so. you don't want anything to to cool too fast or heat too fast because right. it'll break. Um. So yeah, I think I think um, yeah, Bowman's gonna get in and sort of uh, basically shift one of the sort of like crankshafts from the boiler to a neutral position. Um, and then grab some of the belts and start sort of manually moving. No, the no, my, my Heron, my Heron, what, what it, are you doing? It is okay. I'm, no, my, my, this is very delicate machinery, my Heron. I'm just getting a sense of it. Um, and do you want to make me a roll yes. to a uh, rapport check to see if you can uh, placate him? Uh, sure. I got a rapport of two. Okay, I will roll my dice. He will resist. Huh. No, he won't. Uh, just be very careful, my hair. I am not going to hurt this belt, nor this machine. Okay. I am meat. It is iron. Okay, give me a roll for your magic. Okay. Rolling to... Uh, well, okay. Are you rolling to overcome something, or are you rolling to create an advantage? I think I'm rolling to create an advantage. Okay. The advantage is I can now talk to this thing. Okay, so you're uh, essentially creating an, a- an advantage allows you to create an aspect that you can then invoke. Yeah. Um, so you'd be invoking this in your investigation checks with it? I think that's the plan. Okay, so uh, let's see if you can re- create an advantage like the machine talks to me or something yeah, like that. Yeah, or, or um, uh, 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 like a... Um, Vox Ex Machina. Yeah, Vox, Vox Ex Machina. That's exactly okay, what we're sure. going to call it. That's perfect. All right. Um, one. One. Shit. Um, so I don't damage it, probably. <laughs> do you want to spend a fate to re-roll? Um, I'm just looking at the math here. Yeah. What are you invoking? This your uh, uh, your apprentice, uh, uh, your self-taught. self-taught clock mage? Yep. Okay, self-taught clock mage. Give me a roll. Come on. That's more like yeah. it. That's a four. Four. <laughs> okay, yeah, you can... Um, the clanking of the gears of the machine starts um, becoming whispers, and you start on un- well, not even whispers. It's it's speaking already. It's just now you're kind of tuning yourself in to understand it. Yeah, and he's like, needs to be needs to be louder. Uh, and he sort of like gestures with his head towards um, uh, oh, towards Jacoby to sort of get get Heinrich back. Yeah, I, I basically like. Push him back a step. And so, pulling harder and harder, and, like, there's resistance, right? Yeah. I gotta, I gotta grease the wheels. Mm. And he doesn't let go of the belt once um, and lets his hand go through the wheel. Wes, give me a roll for uh, your deceive. Let's see if... Um, uh, does that, does my mind games work on that? Uh, no, that mind games is making an attack on someone with okay. your deceive. It's bullying. Yeah. Um, whereas your deceive, in this case, you're just straight up lying to him. Rolling to overcome, so that's... Uh, Three? Three? What kind of lie are you telling him to just uh, get him to... Uh... Yeah, just get... You know, I'm, I'm just like... <clears throat> he, uh, it's best you don't see this. Like, plausible deniability member, we're not official monster, uh, monster hunters. There's a lot of other stuff that we do that, uh, that is unsanctioned. You need to know, uh, be able to say you didn't see nothing. Uh, yeah, 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 beta. Yeah. I'm saying yeah, yes, thank you a lot in this game. <laughs> but uh, that's because we all only know like Unkleinabissian mm-hmm. Deutsch. Uh, 
Ich bin sprechen Sie nein Deutsch. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Literally all, all I know is uh, uh, sprechen Sie Deutsch and like uh, du, du hast, du <laughs> hast. I, I, I don't know. Oh, ich bin ein, ich bin ein Berliner. That's right. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, and ich big butch dish estingisch tier, which I believe actually means big dick. <laughs> uh, I don't even remember. It's been a long time since I listened to a lot of Ramstein. Uh, anyway, so yeah. Feeds like he just lets it sort of take a bit of blood from his hands. Um, okay, so you take your gauntlets off for this? Uh, oh yeah, yeah. D- getting down, getting down, and dirty, getting his okay, hands. Okay, so you're in literally there. greasing the machine with your own blood. He's greasing the machine with his own blood. Okay, yeah, you're feeding the spirit of it. Exactly. Okay, um, no, it's not going to be enough to really hurt you, but no, 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 it's just for flavor. Yeah. Um, and yeah, you can hear, and the machines just. Um, it's it's talking in the way that <clears throat> the clocks the, the clockwork stuff talks is it also ticks uh-huh. and, and it, it ticks and talks is that it talks as if talking to other machines and all the machines here are essentially shouting at each other you yeah know? and it, it's all very procedural you know I have done my labor for the day I am cooling to rest now I have also done my labor for the day I am also cooling to rest now. I am done my labor for the day. I will stay hot. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I must remain warm to stoke the boilers so that you may so that you may uh, vigilantly stoke the boilers so that you three may uh, cool down and rest. All of your work is pointless. I am the one that lifts your work. <laughs> <laughs> and then various philosophical conversations about the nature of the work and beautiful. Um, who is the one who helped you work? I have not seen my friend in um, in many times of cooling and heating. And in those shifts, when would when did he last leave you? I was cooling, and he came to fix me. I was not working well, so he made me work better. Indeed, and that is good. When he was working, did he feel? Did he think? Did he say? Did he waste time? He could have fixed me faster, but he spent his time. He cared for the machines. Which machines? All the machines? All of us. He made sure that we worked well. This is good. You do work well. Thank you. Did he ever stop his work? At the end, he worked faster than he needed to. He became sloppy like he has not been before. Did he make a mistake? No, but he is normally very precise and he was not precise. Indeed. I may need repair sooner than expected. I will tell those who can fix you. Thank you. All right. Now you may cool and let's go to the belt. Okay. <sighs> sort of starts wiping the blood off his hands. Puts the gloves back Put, on. Puts the, the gauntlets back on. <clears throat> so you've created an, uh, an advantage for your investigation check. You get a free invoke on that. Yeah. Uh, so then I guess I now roll and investigate? Yep. Yep. Uh, and basically, you're applying an aspect to this. So, yeah, so roll, a- you'll either get a plus two or you get a reroll. Mm, that's reroll. That's well, definitely a reroll. <laughs> God oh, damn, damn it! it. <laughs> and you can apply another one of your aspects to it if it would apply. I sure could. Um, I was raised by Antikytherians. I'm real good at sort of reading between the lines of machine bullshit. Sure, I'll take it. Oh, that clang. I makes love you, it. it. It would make me drool if I hadn't just had pie. And my God, guys, that was a good pie. Oh, yeah. pie and cream. Listeners, you've missed out. That was some excellent pie. What the fuck? You know what? It's actually better That's than the last better than what I had before. <sighs> I'll take it at a one. Brutal. <clears throat> it's been a few days. It's been too long. Um, you can see... Uh, now, the tools have been left here, and they were left a bit haphazardly. Yeah. There, there. He was definitely tr- leaving with haste. Okay, and this was this was Dieter, the machine this, guy. This was the first person to disappear. Okay, so this was about three night, three or four nights ago. So I'm gonna, I'm like, so what did you learn? 
he left in a rush. Did he finish his work? He did, and relatively well, although we should tell Herr Van Der Anke that this machine will need maintenance soon. Okay. That, that tells me something that already, he wasn't being attacked. No, he was being lured. Lured. Indeed. Somebody important to him or something called him away. Mm-hmm. And um, because this, clearly his job was important to him. Indeed. So he finished up quickly so he could go do it. He was spoken of highly by all that I could hear. Yeah. And I turned to um, uh, the overseer. Will you, uh, will you two have been talking? Will you have been kind of watching him work and just yeah. kind of Literally. waving off anyone? Um, a, basically like a page boy, like... Uh, Maybe thirteen or fourteen, um, running errands and messages and stuff, runs yeah. up to um, Herr von der Anka and passes him a note, and you know gets a um, gets a ducat in return mm-hmm. and then runs off. Mm. <clears throat> and he he reads it. It's uh, do you think they'd have telegraphs in this? Uh... Um, well, there's base electricity. Yeah, but it's still more of like a play thing for nobles, I think, at this point. Well, you've got your uh, you've got your um, electric lights. They, no, no, and stuff. They, they've got signals. We're we're we have oh, big, big mountains, and, yeah. and we mess with the wind. So yeah, yeah signal towers. Yeah, okay. So they right. got the got the clacks. Yeah. Hmm, yes. Yeah, it's like semaphore. Yeah. And he he's reading the note, and he looks very troubled, and it's. Um, it's messenger company stationary, and obviously it's not just between cities. It's between like different parts of town as well. Yeah, yeah. I go. Is everything okay? I uh, know they they were doing a count of workers who were coming off of the shift, and there's somebody else missing. Indeed, uh, Heinrich has. Uh, oh wait, he's Heinrich. Um, all right, then we're gonna roll to see what the name of the victim is. Four. Ah, uh, this uh, Alex Corbett. Alex Corbett, you are the victim. <laughs> yes, and remember, uh, all patrons because the priors, you too can be murdered by us in the terrible warriors. Not by us. Why <laughs> something we're chasing? <laughs> hey, at least it's not Caesar Wolf this time. Yeah. Though with my luck, when I roll up a name for the bad guy, it'll be Caesar Wolf. <laughs> We're really sorry, Caesar. Yeah, man. You just got a really good name. Such a good name. <laughs> uh, the, Herr Corbett uh, was not found at the end roll call, though he did punch in this morning. Hmm. The, well, the, the, that's awful, but it does prevent present an opportunity. Where do you work? Indeed. Uh, he worked the sluices today. The river. The river. It's complicated, but yeah, this is this is within the line of our investigation. The fastest way to the river? Uh, the ba- this way. And he leads you almost like at a run. Yeah. Uh, your great clanking run. Clank, 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 clank. My one point in athletics is that I do all right at this, although I'm probably miserable doing it. Or miserable. Yeah. Yeah. Your tote's miserable. Meanwhile, your, uh, your uh, tumor spirit is, you know, whispering, I'll give you strength. You don't have to be weak. <laughs> this this be place easy. I have in this place I have power. Breathe in the smoke, breathe in the dust, let it flow, let it give you strength. I try I, I use my will. Yeah. To push it out of my head. Give me a will roll. Ah, that is a will roll. Yeah. Bullshit. <laughs> I rolled, uh, ladies and gentlemen at home, three minuses. But my will is my great stat, so that's still a plus one. <laughs> It's also going to roll your magic. Oh, no. Oh, shit. <laughs> take a fate point. Well, actually, no. Take a fate point if you fail. Sure. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, it... Uh, do you have three already? Have you not spent yeah, one? I haven't even spent oh, one. Oh, no. You can't, uh, you can't get any more fate points right now. Your refresh is three. That's okay. Um... And it's like bearing down on you. It's offering the compel for uh, magic controls my life and death. <laughs> you just like screwing with that. It's such a good it's one. Such a you good pick. Aspect. Oh man, that's as good as when uh, Sarah's character in The Secrets of Cats took um, spoiling for a fight. Oh, okay. nice. You have a hammer. Every problem is a nail. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. Okay, then I succumb to it. Yeah, um, and you feel sick, and your stomach roils, and you take a deep, and you like. 
spasmodically take this deep breath and you breathe in the dust and the smoke in the air from the machines and oh my god do you feel good <laughs> uh, and it is going to create the give you the advantage uh, powered by pollution <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> this is going to turn into some weird magitech fucking Captain Planet I'm excited <laughs> oh, Captain Pollution man like, yeah, yeah. Yes, as summoned by the five villains of the series. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, and no, you, uh... You start actually catching up with... You are falling behind, uh... Uh... Vandrum Bowman, Dirk. uh... Vo Bowman Dietrich, uh... Who, who is actually, amazingly... Von Dronk is... Well, he's leading you, so... Yeah. You're, you're going behind him, but he's keeping a decent pace for an old guy. He's yeah. in pretty good shape. I'm imagining he's kind of lanky. Yeah, you and, probably you probably realize what's going on as I like come, you know, from yes. behind. <laughs> well, no, but as you're do, as you're running, you're gasping. Yeah, you're taking these great gasping breaths, but you're keeping up, uh, and you actually feel really good right now. Yeah. I feel good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Bowman sort of just sees this, and like his brow's already fairly thick, and it just kind of like lowers a little. <laughs> Well, your friend is basically starting to lose the fight against the tumor, right? Yep, so. he's not happy with this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and, <it's> so dark. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and you reach the uh, the elevator. Okay. Well, the inclinator. Yeah. And there's a stop at this tier. He gets on. He gets you guys onto it. And go up. And yeah, there's the river. Runs right through the mining site. Okay. Well, right through the uh, the quarry site. Okay, so we're going to run over to it and uh, take a look around. Okay. Well, it's murky as shit. Yep. Um, hey, look, there's a tailings pond over there. <laughs> oh, no. Wah, 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 wah. Dead ducks. Wah, wah. Um, dead ducks don't go wah, wah. They're dead. <laughs> uh, it depends how freshly dead. Maybe they go... <laughs> as they look later. They make them. small wheezing sounds as the gases come out exactly. of Exactly. Oh my god, guys, this game is getting dark. Ah, uh, man, come on, it's snowing like six to eight inches in friggin' April. <laughs> We're allowed to feel a little dark. Welcome to Edmonton, where the weather is always not what you want. Yep, somehow. <laughs> um, so there's Tailings Pond upstream of this. Yeah. Um, is there any sort of, like, dam facilities? Is there any way to slow the river through here? Um... Well, there are some uh, dam facilities that just are designed to divert it into the tailings ponds. Gotcha. Um, and I got a feeling we should check. Uh, I'm going to look around for footprints. Has this place been been frequented by people who are actually down in the quarry? Give me an investigate check. I, too, will... I'll, I'll, no, I'll take that. Yeah, you're right. Let's let's take that blessing when it lands. Uh, so that gives me a two. Okay, so you're just at your straight investigate, which is a two. Yeah, and mine is also a two. You both have twos. Yep. Um, there are definitely there's some fresh footprints. Um, they lead to the river. Okay, that's good. Um, do they come out the other side that we can see? You'd have to get to the other side of the river. Oh, it's and, quite, it's quite broad. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's broad enough that they don't need to fence off the other side. Gotcha. Um, and of course, the, it would have washed off any dust. So there would be a nice, big, nice white streak. Um, what's on that the other entire river is a white streak. Well, yeah, but it's not gonna. Uh, what's on the far side of it? Uh, the far side of it is just like black, dark it, forest. A clear. There's a clear cut area, and then forest. Gotcha. Oh, um, so yeah, we can't dredge this river. Um, neither of us are water mages. No, I'm a. I'm a cancer mage. Though. Oh, this river ain't too good. Um, I, both I, of you give me magic checks. Jeez Louise. Yeah, I got a three. I got a one. Damn! Well, it, it makes sense, Will. You're not listening to a dark spirit in your head right now. <laughs> I'm not. I your often your that mystical things. senses are otherwise somewhat clear. Yeah. Not well trained, but somewhat but still clear. there. Yeah, um, there's definitely some kind of sorcery around here. Hmm. Not you're you're not able to really place it. Just that sort of itchiness at the back of the skull. Well, I mean, you hear it more like hammers and uh, yeah. ticking and stuff from this clockwork view of the world and magic. Yeah. 
Okay. Meanwhile, you hear, I'm a tumor, 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 I'm a tumor. We're, we're not, this is very not clear. Not trivialize. This is, this, this is not something we're trivializing here, but... Uh, the dark whispers never stop. Yeah. Well, In the face of unremitted horror, one must occasionally laugh. This, yeah, this is, and I'm surprised, I gotta admit, guys, how dark this game has actually gotten, that it, it's gone down some very serious paths. Yeah. Mm. Especially because it began with poop jokes. What doesn't? Um... But okay, so I, I can tell that some magic has happened nearby. Yeah. Um, uh, I'm. I, can I just like straight up just like spot for for anything? Can I can I use a notice to just like sure give me see a notice if I check. pick up any sort of clues? Uh, uh, that is a uh, one. Mm, yeah, it, it's almost where you see it almost like wisps of mist are slowly dissolving. Ah, uh, okay. Um, and where where is it dissolving? Further down river, um, for when it start when it leaves the quarry. Gotcha. Um, I'm gonna point them out. Um, a bit of mist and head towards it. Yeah, I'm going to. Yeah, you still feel great. Yeah, I feel terrific. He, he um, looks terrible. He's, yeah, it's not good. <laughs> Have Andonka. Yeah. Um. Do you have any form of dredge or net? Uh, yeah, but it would take some time to get it into uh, the river. Hmm. We well, you should probably go. It, get it would it. be good to bring some. Uh, the, yes, of course. Uh, yeah, I, I will go get some. Okay. And a couple of strong lads to uh, to use the dredge. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, good. Okay. I wait for him to go. Away. Once he's out of sight. Wade into the river a little bit. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm like, I am going to go, and I'm going to check in the river. Is, is there any ropes nearby? Yeah, there, I mean, every spaced evenly down the river, there's basic gear in case a guy falls in. Like exactly. Poles and ropes and that kind of thing. Cool. Um, yeah. Lash a rope around you. Yeah, and then tie I'm, it onto my heavy ass. I am going to use powered by pollution. To increase my physical role so that I can swim properly. Your physique role? Oh, your athletics role? Yeah. Okay, sure. Or um, even just drown yep. a little bit. I got you on a rope. Yeah. Well, you got a free invoke on it that you haven't invoked yet. Well, so. let's roll to see how this goes. Yeah, and we'll see if you're adding a plus two or re-rolling. Um, so you're plus one. And then it's a two. So I do two. No, plus yep. one is two. And then if I add a plus two, that's... It's four. Four. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Um... You actually, you know, the, the river soaks into you, um, but you can all, it's almost like you can kind of breathe it in, you know. Because the river's so polluted. Yeah. 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 It's the, the river is so polluted that you're able to breathe the pollution as if it were air. Oh. Yeah. We don't know what antimony is yet, but there's a lot in this river. <laughs> <laughs> there's antimony, our sick aluminum. Thank so, you, Tom Lair. So, yeah, I go and I, like, Push through. Do I see any bodies down here? Do I see? Any? Uh, give me an investigate check. You are swimming fine in the river now. Let's see if you can find anything. Overcome the obstacle of, you know, crap being down there. You know what? I am going to. Um, what can I even use? I can't even invoke it. Um, Sick man with the vendetta doesn't work. Prodigy with a sword doesn't work. The spirit whisper. Uh, the dead men, they got spirits. Yeah, can I go with the spirit whisper? Oh, are they, oh stepping back. Are there ghosts in this world? With everything else, I'd say absolutely. Um, yeah, yeah. I think there are there are ghosts, but it's unclear whether they're you. Like they're like they're like psychic echoes. I like I've always they, liked, they may be real you, but maybe they're not. I, I always like to say the idea that ghosts are just like a psychic imprint. imprint. Yeah. Okay, does that suggest that there are other forms of undead as well? Yeah. I would I would say absolutely. I think there definitely are. Okay. okay. Especially with like um with all the pollution is kind yeah, of Yeah, but I think I think most of the undead are like like sickness style. So like zombies are like a plague ridden like, thing. Um like vampires and, and werewolves are both like diseases. Diseases. Um not that werewolves are undead, but um, but, but a disease all the same. In yeah. some settings they are? Yeah, some settings they are technically. Um and yeah, I also like the idea that like you can have like a ghost that's like a, an imprint in the the spirit ether of your spirit, but also like your shadow, like your your 
the light you have you've stopped right that that hole of darkness can also be an undead version mm-hmm. of you um, and some of them are nice and some of them are jerks and none I will of them give, can be trusted. I will let you uh, spend then Man, what happened to the fucking Cats of Gravity Falls game where Sarah rolled a freaking 10? Well, I mean, our rules have always been either very, very swingy or consistently bullshit. <laughs> Tonight is apparently... You are literally using the same dice. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Okay, so, investigate. Two. Um, not in this part of the river, though what you do find when you swing down to the bottom and you put your hand down in the muck... You do find bones. I bring them But they, they're not... Okay, you bring them up. They're not recent bones. But are they human bones? They definitely look like it. Oh, boy. This and, has been going on a lot longer. Yeah. So, reel them in. Mm-hmm. I look awful. You look awful, and you've got, like, a chunk of skeleton, sort of, like, that you're hugging. Yeah. Uh, no, he... he's got, like... Thigh, bo- he's got like a thigh bone oh, okay. in one hand that's connected to like a, uh, uh, like a little ankle bone, that's some ankle bones and a foot or like part of a foot. Oh, it's always feet. <laughs> thigh bones connected to the uh, ankle bone. Ankle bones connected to my wristwatch. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> thanks, Doctor Nick. My mind went there too. <laughs> um, we're so yeah, people. Uh, Bowman's a little bit sort of concerned. Did, did he? It, this is not who we're looking for. This has been like, like the bone has been eroded. It's bare. The ligament in there is ancient. And as you're holding it it's up, like, it, yeah, it cool. falls apart. Yeah, as soon as it's out of the water, we were dealing with something a lot older than what we initially thought. And we're going to need you strong. You feel amazing I right feel now. Feel amazing. I know you. Feel His amazing. eyes are sunken. Um, they're bloodshot. Um, he he might think he's amazing. You think you look amazing right, right. now too, but oh, he oh. bodies cannot be trusted. Says the man who hung out with the metal men. Their the, machines are their bodies are reliable. So he, is mine. And he sort of like <laughs> polishes off like a chunk of his van brace so you can see your reflection. Do I actually see me as me or? Yeah, does the give magic me a orbit? notice check? How about Will? Sure, give me a will check. Yeah, just, just to see your to see overcome the, to see the, the illusions of the terrible creature living inside you. What oh, the earth? That, oh, oh, you know what? That's a two. That's still a two. <laughs> that's fair. Yeah, it takes a minute. Like you have to blink your eyes a few times, and then your eyelids get really heavy, and you start feeling like shit again. Oh no! And you're you're seeing yourself in there, and like, oh, oh god, what's happened? You you must rest, friend. I just collapse in the on the side. Yeah. He, <laughs> then you just fade. Bowman <laughs> catches him. Sort of um, hefts him a little bit. You can see um, Von, uh, Von Deronka is uh, coming up the shore. He's got uh, four quarrymen with him. Yeah, and they've got like a sort uh, of like big a, dredge. Set yeah, up. like a dredging net that uh, they can all get from the same shore. Yeah. So they don't have to send people over to so the other side. So it's not like a big-ass pole. Yeah. Uh, he, your friend is... He, he has he, been in the water. That, uh, my hair, that is not good. You must get him to an apothecary immediately. He, he will be getting rest and care. You must dredge this river and sort of point, sort of like heave him over my shoulder and then point to the, the mess of bones. This is not your man, but it may have been one of them. Uh, the, these bones are old. They, they How long year, is this? Years, it could be decades. How long has this quarry been active? Uh, 20, 30 years. Decades. You don't... Th- I have not heard... Were you the first in this job? But then again, I would not have heard, would I? No, you wouldn't. Just as you aren't telling people now. By the winds. <laughs> <That's> good. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, no, I just like... Just so our listeners at home, I just pan my throwing a ball up in the air... Whacking it out of the park and going, and hey, it's good. <laughs> yep. Because that, that's a home run theory of what you just uh, came up with. Nice job. <laughs> so we're going to fade out from this scene. Yeah. Uh, do you take him to an apothecary or a, um, some... I have no medical skills myself, so I'm going to try and find us some sort of uh, frau. Back alley surgeon. Mm-hmm. 
Do you have contacts? You have contacts. I do have contacts and a tiny amount of rapport. And give I'm hoping a, the give obviously a, ill man. Give me a contacts check. Uh, that's a minus one. What is with our rolls? I don't know, man. It's a grim dark setting. It apparently. is apparently a grim dark <laughs> setting. Um, so no apothecaries that will. Take him but you do fi- you know what you do find? What do I find? You find a veterinarian. Yes. You find a horse doctor. Awesome. Um, mainly because you look for the, one of the big stables. Yeah. You you walk up to the guy. You know, where can I find a? I I need a doctor. I know a horse doctor. That will do. <laughs> Horses are alive. That he's alive. I mean, really? How, they how they do work very much the same. <laughs> yeah. Donut Jimmy. Yep. Yeah. All right, let's find out the name of our horse doctor. Yeah! Come on, Beth something. Beth Sanchez. <laughs> oh, God. I wasn't going to go that on the nose. Uh, I was just thinking that, too. Like... Nope, already used her. Two. Johan Neeson. Oh, perfect. And you basically bang on this guy's door in the middle boom, of the boom, night boom, boom. Uh, and he he opens it up he's he's not going to bed but no but he was at rest yeah he's he's at least a couple uh steins in yeah maybe maybe he's classy he's got a little thing of schnapps oh no he schnapps because he is a doctor he's a doctor um <laughs> well he's a vet but he, yeah still a doctor well, yeah, no, he gets paid. I mean, he's a horse doctor. They get actually paid decently Quite good, well yeah. in a setting where horses are still... Still a, very important. Oh. Still a very important method of travel, yeah. It's like a camera or something. Yeah. Yeah? Um, Herr Doctor, um, my friend is ill. I know this isn't your speciality, but he needs to be worked on. Uh, he, he walks He was in the river. By the winds. Bring him in, bring him in. Yeah, in we go. And he gets you to uh, drop him basically onto a table. Yeah, clear the table. He just push yep. the stuff uh, out of the, the way. The room essentially it smells of horse manure. It smells of uh, horse. Great. It, it mainly smells of various scents you'd associate with horses. Yeah. There's a stables out back. Yeah, this is a horse guy. So while this is all going on, Derek, I'm going to take this as a fever oh, dream. Fever dream. Fever dream. Fever no, dream. Tap into... Uh, my, uh... You want to make another lore check based on your magic skill? Yeah, I do. Yeah, buddy. Spend a fate point. Oh, huh. oh my god, that's the first time someone's missed the bowl. <laughs> that's how bad our rolls are. Come on, don't be awful to now, please. Oh, you know what? Eh. Three. Yeah, okay. I'll, yeah. Yeah, you've got this, um, landscape. And in, think about it as a vision of the battle for Jacoby's body. Okay. Uh, where, in this case, it's represented by... You've got a big forest that's been, like, clear-cut and burned down. And you've got your, your your forest, tranquil. There are animals in it. You can see a deer poking out. And most of the field, though, is just slash-cut. It's dead grass. It's been burnt down to just blackened earth. And there's a cloud of smoke hanging over it. And sitting in a pile of burnt out trees is the imp and it's casually picking its teeth with a bone and it's taken on a lot more definition in here mm-hmm. and it's bigger oh yeah it's been well fed recently yeah oh yeah it's got it's like it's got a grossly distended belly going on mm. please with yourself very <laughs> you fed me well today and you've been to where uh, where that place is. Now do you have more information? Yes. But I am full and tired. No, you will tell me what I want to know. Or I will stop my own heart. And we will both die. If you could do that, you would have done that already. Can I make a will check to stop my own heart? No. <laughs> no, that's going even a bit beyond your will of plus four. <laughs> what about stop breathing? No, because you're out. you're you're yeah. flat out yeah. right now. Okay, is there anything I can do with will? Yeah, you could you could try and essentially engage in a battle of will with it. Wait yeah, a you minute. you could just let... mind games. I have this thing, mind games. You could try deceive yourself essentially. Yeah, I'm actually going to let you make a will check, which will be a will based attack. Okay. Yeah. But it's going to get to make a will based attack against you. Sure, that's fine. 
Mm -hmm. worst, worst case scenario is I lose more ground, which adds more story anyway. Yeah. So. Uh, you know, like um, three. Three? Okay. The great thing is it just rolls with your stats. Yeah. Well, it's, I'm fighting my... Ha! Ha! Literally. Oh my god, we got the exact same roll. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah, you come to a stalemate. It's, you know, you're pointing at it, you're shouting at it. Do I? I add plus two to my roll. Y what are you invoking? I invoke... The sp I invoke the spirit whisperer. Sure, give me a reroll. <laughs> no, I just want to add plus two. Oh, that'll be enough. Sure. So I beat it. <laughs> okay, so what are you doing in this mindscape? I'm basically like the I'm, I'm holding my arms out and like the verdant forest that that which represents health and vitality. I'm pushing. You don't have a lot of that. You're gonna have to do something a bit more. Like you're pushing your body beyond its limits at this point. Okay. So you may have to phys like take psychic action to uh, to deal with this thing. Okay, I'm going to reach out and like grab it with like I make a motion with my hand and I grab it with like a psychic hand right okay yep yeah. um and it slowly lifts off mm -hmm. and the the bone shard falls out of its hand mm -hmm. vanishes in a puff of smoke you will tell me what I want to know now for you are still in my body and I am still a master of my own realm for now mm -hmm. very well very well the river is home to something. Something not from this world. Faye? Yes. It is hungry now. It has not eaten in some time, and it has woken, and it has woken angry. And it's a devourer. Yes. And, and now that it's gotten a taste, it's going to feed more often. Yes? Yes. That's why uh, this thing's been here a while. Yes. How do I find it? You would have to give it prey. You would have to ensure that you follow it, that which it summons or become summoned yourself. And how do I become prey? Be near it. Be. You would not be good prey for it, though. You are. I need someone healthy. You are sick with me. I need someone healthy. Yes. Meanwhile, outside, <laughs> boom, on to the horse yeah, doctor. Okay, we'll cut to the doctor, and the doctor's like, by, by, by the winds, what is your... Your friend is sick, mine hair. He is very sick. I know. He should not be walking about with you. This is... I know. I, there is nothing I can... I can pump his stomach? Well, if that will help. They may get some of the bad water out of him, but... Very well. Is... The gore that he ate earlier. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. There it is. Doctor makes a physique check. <laughs> oh, hey. Yeah, Doctor doesn't get enough successes on his physique check. He needed way more shifts than one. <laughs> doctor rolled a null roll. Uh, yeah. Two pluses, two minuses. The doctor goes and vomits as well. Uh, I understand how pumps work. Pick up the sort of like archaic <laughs> syringe and keep yep. on pumping. Yeah. Um,. It's not that his color improves, but he doesn't... On some level, he doesn't quite look as terrible. In, inside your mind, the imp's stomach pulls back in. My food. Your friend is taking my food. We all got to live with disappointments. And you have to live with me. And then you wake up. <laughs> yeah. And then, like, get the hose out of you. and <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he has to pull the hose out as he yeah, wakes so up. Yeah, so he doesn't aspirate. And... Uh, fr flashbacks to that awful scene of the Matrix where Neo pulls all yeah. that. Oh, oh um, yeah. Yeah. That was just too, a little too visceral for me and my life, gang. Yeah. And I, and I, and I like, hack and wheeze and... <clears throat> I have a plan. Uh, the, the doctor gives you a, a glass of schnapps. It's cloudy. It's obviously like home brewed. I, yeah. I basically drink it like a shot glass. Yeah. 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 He gets a bit of color back in him at least. Uh, thank you, doctor. Yeah. You, you pay him a couple. Uh, yeah. Give him a couple of yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, Herr Dr. Neeson. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Do me a favor and never come back. I never do. Yes. He, he takes a shot himself and then he takes another one just to steady himself. So I stepped outside. Yeah. 
cover up, you know, because I imagine you probably like had my shirt off. Oh yeah, for yeah, sure. We yeah. were doing various things. Yeah, sort of sort of You're back still together. soaked. Yeah. And I mean, it is sort of late late 18th century health. So hand you a pipe full of tobacco. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah light up. Ah, tobacco, one of the imports that you get from the south. That's yeah. right. Uh, no, from the north. I'm like, I, I look at. Uh, like, well, you got your temperate region to the south there. Oh yeah, I guess yeah, you can have more, yeah. more tobacco there. So I, 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 I've got this very solemn look. I go, I have a plan. Yes. And we need bait. Hmm. We need healthy bait. I am healthy. I know. Then I am bait. We will go back and tell um, the foreman. Vanderonka. Vanderonka, thank you. <laughs> Vanderonka, you're getting great use out of your name this episode. We will tell I Vanderonka. hope you're okay with being an old German man. We will tell Vanderonka that you need to be around there. It comes out of the river, and ah. it's hungry, and it's fey. Then we must keep everyone else away from the river. That's right. All right. Okay, and as you go off to do your grim plan and um, put into action... Well, the river flows near the town, right? Yes. So this thing's hunting grounds are probably expanding. Yeah. We need to get the people in the town away from the river, too. Good luck with that. Well, although I'm in debt to the guild... They are. They do have a local office, and the official monster hunters could theoretically keep everybody away from the river. Mm-hmm. Do you want to try? No, but we should. Yeah. <laughs> All right, on that, I'm going to end the episode for this, our third episode of what I am now coming to call Vale Mount, the Lillenberg Murders. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> I love it. I, I'm honestly, I'm actually loving this setting here. It's they, pretty we, cool. We're creating, this is... Uh, Look at this. In in the last three hours, we have created four pa- Okay, actually three pages. The other one was the fate cheat sheet. But still. Three pages worth of notes on this fantasy setting that we've managed to make enough to run a full game off of. And you can see it all if you happen to be, uh, be our Patreon supporters, which we really love and appreciate. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. So, patreon.com slash terrible I may actually just post this up online, but yes. You will be able to pick up a full compilation of stuff, including their character sheets as well, if you're a Patreon subscriber. In any case, I'm Derek the Bard from Chase the Muse, and I've been your GM for this evening, and I'm joined with... Will Mitchell. Wes Gunn. Come back for our thrilling inclusion, which, like most of the rest of this game, is likely to be very freaking dark. Be seeing you. Terrible Warriors is new episodes that come out every Tuesdays and Thursdays. And Vale Mount, the Lillenberg Murders, now actually properly named in the recording, will be back in two weeks' time. One more hour remains for our monster hunters to resolve this crisis. And should you return to us on Tuesdays, we're playing our Friday the 13th game run by Mike the Birdman Dodd. He's brought together our players to play attractive 20-something adults lured into Crystal Lake by a contest on a radio station. Now they're all contestants in a reality show that's getting a little too real. Strive to survive on Tuesdays. Also on Thursdays, alternating with our Veil Mount campaign, Derek the Bard is running a game with his players from across Canada in our Stargate SG-12 story. Our members of SG-12 have arrived on another planet, and now as the investigation takes them out to face the barbarians at the walls, the truth behind the shield of Mars will begin to reveal itself. That's Stargate SG-12 on Thursdays. And for all of our updates, follow us on Twitter at Dice Warriors, where you will start seeing us teasing all the new games we want to be planning in our new year, which starts in the fall in September. We still have a few more games ready for you by the end of the summer, and they're going to be doozies. I'm not going to announce them just yet. We're still casting the players, getting all of our ducks in a row, but I've already put it on the calendar. If you visit TerribleWarriors.com and click on Schedules, it tells you right there what games we're playing and why. Yes, you too can connect the dots by simply visiting our website as well. If you like what you hear and you want to hear more, consider supporting us on Patreon at patreon.com slash terriblewarriors. It's the support from our patrons that is giving us the courage to go ahead with some of our crazier ideas into the summer. And in the fall, 
We are all very excited for the games we have yet to play, but for all the games we have played, they are available forever for free for you, broken down into little playlist albums for you at TerribleWarriors.com. Just click on that adventure button. They're all there, ready to go on our SoundCloud account. Today's Terrible Warriors were Derek Burrow, Will Mitchell, and Wes Gunn. And we will return to the Parliamentary Republic of Vale Mount in two weeks' time to resolve the Lillenberg murders. And until then, thank you for listening, for supporting. Thank you for reviewing our episodes and liking them and giving them five stars on iTunes. iTunes do a star rating still? I think that's a thing. Anyways... You play games, you tell stories, and in doing so, you are a terrible warrior.